Sabrina's Gengar. Pikachu. Oh my gosh. All right, so I just got off of work. It's raining right now and it's getting dark, but I'm on my way right now to meet up with somebody that I messaged on Facebook Marketplace. This lady said that her son has a big bin of Pokemon cards that he doesn't want anymore. She sent me a picture of them and some of them are unopened actually. They're newer cards, but I saw on the bottom of the bin that there was some older cards in there, some vintage cards, and I saw some holographics as well. So I asked her how much she wanted. She said a hundred bucks. Uh, I said, I'll give you a hundred bucks if she can save them for me because she was gonna sell them today at the garage sale. But luckily she put them to the side for me so I could buy them. So yeah, I'm currently on my way. I'm gonna go pick those up right now. How you doing? Oh, hi, how are you? Good. This makes me feel better. I'm like, you're such a young kid. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what they had. They put the stuff in. It was your son's yeah. or? Yeah. They didn't want them anymore? No. I mean, they, obviously, they don't have time. They're kids that have been on electronics for all their lives. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so have much. Have a good one. You too. All right, so I just got home. Here is the tub of Pokemon cards that I bought for $100. Um, I wanna show you guys before I start looking through these, what I saw in the photos that she sent me. And right down somewhere at the bottom. Yeah, so there's, you see those case protectors down there? Um, I just lifted one up and I saw that there was, as you can see, vintage holographics. So hopefully those are all holographics down there because this is gonna be a really good buy. There is a bunch of stuff in here, like unopened blister pack. I don't know who would buy a blister pack and not open it, I guess a collector, but this came from a kid's collection. So if I was a kid, there's no way that I would ever not open something and then i noticed another thing too on the side of these cards there's more unopened packs and there's actually a wrapper down here. oh my god no way i went to lift up the pack and there's a there's a charizard at the bottom the sun and moon bag but okay i cannot wait to look what's down there because i hope there's some good stuff in here all right i'm just gonna start looking through it all right so i don't know how i'm gonna do this because there's so many cards i'm gonna search through them all but there's so many it's gonna take a long time if i were to record everything so i think i'm just gonna sift through them and when i find something of significance i'll start recording or Something along that nature, but holy crap, guys. I can't believe that it's in good condition, too. I can't believe I want to lift up this pack that's on the bottom of here. There's probably more packs down there. I gotta check them out. I, this, oh my God. This is crazy. I already made my $100 back, and there's a Blastoise in there, too, so yeah, I'm, I'm off to a good start. This is, this is insane. Okay, so everything that's worth a lot of money, I'm going to put to the side. So these packs, I'm not sure how much they go for, but I'm pretty sure this is a pretty old set. 2017, it's not that old, but I'm sure that these still do go for decent money. And same with the blister pack. So I'm going to put that stuff over there. There's a bunch of stuff to go through. Um... Hopefully there's a lot of old cards in here, even though if they're common or uncommons, but I I don't even know where to start. I don't really remember how old she said her son was. All I do remember is that she said her son has older cousins that would trade with him. So I'm hoping that there's older cards in here. There has to be because of the Charizard, but it looks like there's a lot of newer cards so far. 
There's a holographic. Um, I started collecting during the Diamond and Pearl era, so a lot of these cards I'll remember. It's 2008. This is an older card too. I know that some of the Diamond and Pearl cards go for a little bit of money. I know the level X's that they had. Um, hopefully there's some level X's in here. That's a 2006 Holland Phantom set. Yeah, hopefully there's some level X's in here and some other stuff. I'm super excited to go see what is down there, but I don't want to spoil a surprise. I want to see if there's anything else here before... The world championship card empty sleeve yeah it looks like a lot of these are newer there's some ex era cards but for the most part these are just newer cards and when i when i say newer probably around 2017 i stopped collecting after diamond and pearl and platinum and Heart Gold Soul Silver. I think Heart Gold Soul Silver was the last of the Pokemon sets that I used to collect as a kid, which I don't have anymore, but I do remember them and it's pretty nostalgic. Hopefully there's Diamond and Pearl packs down there because that would be really, really nice. I know those go for a lot of money still. So World Championship. There's some older energies Not a lot of older cards. That's an older card. It's in a different language, but yeah, that's, that's an older card. Here's some older cards. Fossil set, base set, that's jungle. Yeah, so there is older cards in here. It's a holographic. Noivern. I don't even know what that is. Score bunny. Here's a interesting card. It's a break card. I don't know if these are worth any money, but there's some break cards. There's a holographic. Ooh, this is an older E-Series card. So the E-Series, there used to be a machine that you would plug into your Game Boy and you would scan these or swipe them. I don't remember, but Pretty sure these go for decent money. Hopefully there's some holographics of those. There's another one. Okay, these are looking like older cards. That's a first edition. That's pretty good. It's a Pokemon card. GX card. It looks bent up. Yeah, these are some E-Series cards. There's a Charizard card. It's got the corners cut off of it, but hey, that's pretty cool. More World Champion 2004, and this card has writing on it. Wow, those are garbage. Pretty sure that these these tins go for money too, but I'm not sure. This is a um, Machamp tin. It looks newer though. Some older cards. 
I hope that I haven't seen many oh, there's a holographic. I haven't seen many holographics that are older besides the Charizard that I brought up with the pack. It was like stuck to the pack that was down there. But I I'm really excited to look down there. I don't even know what I can find, so Alright, so I finished searching through this bin and check out what I found. All these cards, there really wasn't anything good in there, but I found there's a coin. I found these. For some reason, there's a bunch of them. I don't know if these are worth any money. They, they're they promo cards, so they probably aren't worth a whole lot, but why is there so many of them? Why did you, why would you collect? I don't know. I'll look those up later. This is a library card. Probably give that to my girlfriend. Uh, another one of these things I don't even know what these are and then I think these are code cards and a Hot Wheels card all right so I'm gonna look through these tins There's a holographic right here. Older card. There's another older card. Holographic. All right, so there wasn't really anything in this Machamp tin. So I'm gonna go on to this next tin. <clears throat> this looks... I think this is fake. This is Mega Lucario. This is a fake card, it's super glossy and it bends really easily so yeah I think that's that's no good I remember those cards with the uh, Team Galactic those are very nostalgic yep I love that set There's another one. There really isn't much in. I remember these, they gave them out of McDonald's. This one's all messed up though. I don't know how much those go for, but probably not for much because the condition it's in. All right, so I searched through this tin. There was nothing. There is this stack of rubber banded cards. And there's nothing in those. Yeah, so far all we got is these cards. These, um, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but there's so many of them. This Charizard, it's all messed up. This card, it's, there's writing on it. Get rid of that. Get rid of the Charizard, too. That's messed up. These break cards and the Charizard. Man, that looks super nice. What are the odds? Oh my god. So far, we just got the Charizard, I would say, because I don't know how much these are, but I know how much Charizard is, so let's keep looking. There's another tin. This is uh, Raikou. So 
so far there hasn't been anything in the tins except for that Pokemon Platinum McDonald's card. So yeah, this is fake as well. Oh my gosh, yeah. These are all fake. Fake cards, they bend really easily. Super metallic. The ink is super dark, glossy. That's junk. So I guess the kid used to collect fake cards or got scammed. Hopefully he didn't get scammed because that would that'd be awful. Yep, there's nothing in that tin either. So all I got left is this green tin or this green bin right here. And I don't think I'm gonna open up those sealed packs just because they go for more money sealed and what are the odds that I find sealed booster packs? So yeah, I'm not gonna open these up, but we're getting closer to the bottom of this. Hopefully there's more packs and there's the Blastoise down there and I hope there's more Charizards or something good down there. I am seeing a lot of older cards in here both like Wizard of the Coast and EX series cards, so imagine if there was a gold star in here or something like that and they just forgot about it in the collection or one can only hope, but I'm already happy with the Charizard and the sealed packs, so I already made my $100 back. Everything from this point on is just gonna be profit. There's a holographic. This is a Team Rocket card. This is my favorite set. All right, so there's a bunch of cards in here, so I'm just gonna speed this up and only show holographics or any good cards. There's some holographics. This is an old card. I remember when I used to collect these too. It's like the TV series cards. All right, here's another fake card. This is a holographic Jirachi. It's another holographic on the back, on the back. Infernape. That's an older card right there. All 
All right, so I searched through all of the cards that were around this little deck where I pulled the, or I saw the Blastoise at. So I'm going to finally see what's under there. There's some big cards. Break, Ar Arcanine Break. But, okay, so this might be where all the holographics are. This is where they kept them. So I hope that it is. I'm very nervous and I'm very excited. So hopefully there's something good in here because it's very nerve wracking knowing that I pulled a Charizard and I saw a Blastoise and there can potentially be something very good. Okay, and there's a holographic right here for alligator. That's really nice. Okay, Raikou again. This is an older set. This is very nice. Holographic. Okay, this is a Japanese card. Team Rocket Japanese card. Holographic. This is old card, Brock. Brock's Vulpix. This is an older movie card again, I think. Charizard. That's the Blastoise that I saw earlier. Okay. I don't know how much these go for. But I know the Blastoise goes for good money. Uh, there's some Team Rocket's Mouth promo. Articuno. This is so nerve-wracking. Mew. Zapdos. Heracross, Hollow, first edition. I don't know how much that is, but that's super nice. It looks like it's in really good condition. Ditto. There's a bunch of like dog hair on these. Hollow Ditto. Sabrina's Gengar, Pikachu, oh my god, there's another Charizard, oh my god, this is a base set Charizard, no way, oh, it's, it's in good condition, there's a little whitening, but oh my god, are you kidding me, a hundred dollars I paid, and I am, this is crazy. Oh my God. So we have two Charizards now, or three with the, the TV series card, but oh my gosh. First edition pre-release Aerodactyl. Oh, that is awesome. Entei, I think it's from the same set as uh, Reiku. That is insane. That looks like really nice condition. Shining ho -Oh. Looks like it's in a wrapper still. Okay, this is still in a wrapper. Shining ho -Oh. Nice. So there's not just one, there's two. That is super cool. They look like they're in super good condition. Pikachu card. Sylveon EX, Blastoise EX, Execute with the sparkly border. I think that's from uh, older set, Legendary Collections. Erica's Dragonair, those are nice. And, and Pharos. Oh my gosh. This I don't know what I was expecting, but this is exceeding my expectations because I am so happy. I'm going to get everything piled up into one pile and see how much that all of this is actually worth. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking through the cards as much as I did. It's getting harder and harder to find Pokemon card collections, so when I do, it's really exciting because I know how much money there is to be made, but then I know it's possible to not make any money at all so I'm happy I found those holographic cards at the bottom of this bin because 
that made me all my money. I probably made close to twelve to fifteen hundred dollars just in this collection I bought. If you guys have not joined the Krisky Discord yet, please do. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Make sure you join that because it is a very, very good group of talented resellers that answer each other's questions super quickly that anybody may have about an item that sells or doesn't sell. So if you are a new reseller, make sure you join that Discord because it would help you out tremendously. That's all I got for you guys. Until the next video, I appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.